Hey survivors, Skippy here again. Uh, good to see you guys. Uh, so you've survived day two and now you're running into day three. Uh, so my main concern today on what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and do some raiding. Uh, I'm going to start getting together my materials uh, to make a forge. Uh, what you need is an iron pipe. Uh, you can find those in the kitchens and in cupboards and stuff. Uh, you should have found one by now. Um, it just literally looks like an iron pipe so you should find it in your inventory. Uh, but what I've done now is I'm starting to get all my inventory together. I've spent the night making uh, making stone axes, so my my axe um, my axe level is much higher, does much damage, lasts longer, and I can get through those doors quicker. So now it's day three, guys. You'll you'll find yourself actually starting to get to a level where you're finding it's a lot easier. Uh, you can get in and out of places quicker. Uh, you can make better damage weapons. Uh, so what I'm going to do here is just get everything together, and then we're going to uh, head out and start doing uh, some looting. We're going to be looking for water, uh, preferably a water source. Uh, that would be great. Um, anything else that we can use, uh, basically. So uh, what you want to do at this point is uh, we're going to start hitting up stores and homes since we can get uh, in and out quicker uh, so we'll just be one second here while I'm jumping down okay so now I'm using the wood frames to get down safely here again uh, every once in a while it'll make you fall off the wood frames I don't know why I hope they patch that uh, but like I said we're, we're going out we're looking for water we're looking for other stuff as you can see I'm getting through um, through wood for, or wood doors and everything much quicker than I was before um, my bow uh, level I'm gonna work on that tonight to get uh, my weapon levels up uh, what we need to do is we need paper as well too and everything to make um, a blunder bless because day five is dog day and you're gonna need your blender bless on that day for sure along with your wooden spikes um, but you can see uh, what I'm doing is actually hitting up stores and stuff now because uh, stores have uh, coolers and whatnot in them uh, which have water in it and if you see too I'm going around and actually picking up the um, well, I actually missed one there. I didn't notice until uh, I'm watching the recording here. Uh, but what I'm going around and doing at this point as well, too, is I'm picking up those gas barrels uh, because in a pinch, it, it allows you to get into a place very easily because they explode and do a lot of building damage. Uh, so uh, what I might use it later for is actually the, the bank. That's, that's what I'm saving those for. I'm pretty sure I saw a bank on the map. Uh, so at this point in the game, I'm just running around, uh, you know, looting house to house to house. Uh, now I'm coming up on the, the crack of book. This is the best place here to get all your recipes. Uh, this is one of the earlier places you actually want to hit up as well too, because then you can get your paper, uh, you can get, you know, all your rest, uh, all your recipes and whatnot. And I do prefer to go through the front door of the stores instead of the windows if it's a wood door, uh, because it's actually easier to get through and it's easier to get out in case you get mobbed, <laughs> mobbed by zombies. Now, now that I've gotten into the library, I do have to apologize, this may be dark for you guys. I don't have a headlamp and I forgot to bring a torch. Uh, but what my main thing in here is to do is because I'm in an enclosed space and it'd be hard to fight my way out, is um, I'm pretty much just um, auto accepting everything. So when I open something, I'm collecting it all. And how I do that, on the PS4 at least, is I press the L3 button. Uh, so that loots everything. Once you open it up and press L3, it'll throw it all into your inventory. Uh, so that's my main goal is pretty much a smash and grab. Um, I'm hitting up the bathroom as well too for medical supplies. Uh, I'm still looking for iron pipes as well too. I have one but it's also always good to have a few kicking around. Uh, if you can't find one and you found a wrench, uh, use the wrench on, um, on an oven, on a refrigerator, on an air conditioning unit. Uh, they'll all, or, or a toilet as well too I believe uh, will all give you an iron, uh, an iron bar. Uh, so what I'm going to do is actually cut out the rest of the library looting and I'll meet you guys outside here. Okay, now that I'm outside and I can see all the way around me and I, I feel much safer out on the road, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm using this car just to store, uh, store some stuff for now because I'm still out in looting. Uh, some of this stuff is just junk, I'm not going to come back for it, but the paper I'm going to have to remember, I have almost 200 paper in that car. Uh, so the next episode when I'm out looting, I'm going to come back and grab up that paper uh, so that we can make uh, some blunder, uh, blunder bus ammo. Uh, so what I'm also doing too is uh, how I told you guys, just grab everything and get the hell out of the store. I'm going and I'm actually reading all my uh, schematics. This is how you learn to make stuff, guys. Uh, so you want to look for bookshelves or a library. Um, some homes have bookshelves in it. Some stores have uh, a bookshelf in it. Uh, but the library has tons and tons of bookshelves. 
so uh, this also won't respawn either uh, unless you spend some time outside of the city. Uh, so you want to come back to this point at uh, another point in time uh, to loot the library again once it's uh, re-looted. Uh, so for the next little while, what I do is I run around from house to house to grab stuff. Um, there is a small little hint coming up here. Uh, once I <laughs> see the door is unlocked, you actually don't have to break your way in. Uh, but if you go into these burnt houses here and you see that iron plate, um, sometimes if you take out the blocks be beside it, it'll actually have uh, a valuables underneath it. And this is where I actually got really excited. It's always good to find your first one. Uh, but if you look, there's actually a backpack underneath there. I have to crouch to get to it. There we go. Let's open that up. And bam, look at that. I got myself a mining helmet. So that means I have light now, guys, and I don't have to go around with a torch. Um, I can just turn it on. Uh, so to turn on your light, uh, once you do uh, wear your helmet, uh, what you want to do is you want to press the uh, right arrow button on your D-pad, uh, at least on PS4. I'm not sure what it is on Xbox. If you guys know, leave it down in the comments. Um, but what I'm going to do now is just go from store to store, and I'll meet you guys up here in a second because I found the smorgasbord the one place you want to hit up uh, early in the game. So now that I've run around, I've uh, found myself um, a working stiffs, which is great for tools, but I'm not going to hit that up quite yet um, for tools and supplies because I don't need them yet. This is like the god of early game. If you guys can find a poppin' pills um, in your first city, you are laughing. Um, now I said, like how I said earlier, how I prefer to go through the front door, that one was steel and it would have taken me forever to do it. Uh, but what I'm doing now, um, this is the best place to go and get all your health supplies. You get bandages, you get health kits, uh, you get everything you need uh, possibly. And one of these stores can easily fill your uh, health needs uh, for the first couple weeks easily. Uh, there is a little room in the back room there. Um, it's harder to get into because it has steel doors. Uh, but I will show you guys uh, at another point in time here uh, how to get into the back rooms of these places as well. Uh, because they do have storage crates and whatnot in the back. And uh, the pop and pills will also give you a beaker too which actually opens up more recipes in your fireplace uh, so at this point in time I realize oh damn um, I'm hungry I have to run back home before I starve and start losing health and whatnot uh, so what I do is I, I run back home and uh, grab some food up and then uh, I'll meet you guys up in a second so now it's later in the day. Uh, I've gotten all my looting done. I'm quite happy with all the health crap I have. I mean, it's absolutely amazing. I have a decent amount of water. Uh, I am good to go for a while. So what I'm going to do is spend the last few daylight hours out gathering materials. So once again, I'm looking for those smaller rocks. I'm looking for bird's nest. Um, I'm grabbing. Uh, I'm, I'm grabbing some wood here as well too. Uh, what you uh, What you want to watch out for during this time is just literally try not to engage any zombies. You really don't need to. If they're bothering you, just run to a different area you're just wasting your time killing zombies at this point uh, but yeah what you want to do right now is just literally spend your time getting stone uh, cotton feathers so you can make uh, ammo all stuff that'll keep you busy at night uh, while you're waiting for the uh, while you're waiting for the morning time uh, so what I'm also looking for here too is clay and uh, oh yes also grab yourself some coal as well too uh, that'll come in handy as um, as gunpowder to make your, your uh, blunder blust uh, crap uh, but anyways so okay uh, keep moving on grabbing your stuff uh, what you're going to need especially especially for the forge is clay and I know this is a huge question for a lot of people so I'm going to show you guys how to find clay it's actually surprisingly easy Clay. Clay is one of the easiest things to find in the game. Uh, what you want to do is you want to look for these clusters of cotton. Uh, clusters of cotton usually grow on clay. Uh, cotton will grow one or two here, uh, here and there. And if you look on the map where you see my... Um, and my little arrow there, it actually shows up on your map as a light. Um, it, it's kind of almost like a white. It almost looks like snow for some reason. Uh, and the ground also looks a lot different as well, too. You can tell it's uh, different shades of green and brown. Uh, once you find one, uh, grab, make yourself a shovel and uh, grab yourself up at least 50 clay, maybe 100, just so you have some extra kicking around. Uh, you're going to need that for your forge. Uh, so definitely grab that up. And once, uh, once it's reached uh, 2200 or uh, 2100 or whatever, uh, get home and I'll meet you up on the rooftop. 
So we are nice and safe on our rooftop, our rooftop here. Uh, so what our main goal is tonight is you can either increase your axe or you can increase your uh, your bow uh, making. So I, I recommend spending the night making like bows or axes or whatever with all that material you had. And uh, what you also want to do too is maybe look up the forge. If you go to your uh, basics and all the way to the end page, it'll actually tell you what you need. 50 sm uh, stone, 50 clay, a bellows, and short iron pipe. That's the iron pipe I was telling you guys about uh, you need two I, I believe you need one to make the iron or the bellows and one to make the actual forge itself uh, so to make the bellows what you what you need is you need animal hide uh, and and the uh, the iron as well here too uh, but I found out you actually need 20 I thought you only needed 14 so that's my bad uh, but you do need 20 altogether leather to uh, to make the uh, to make the bellows uh, to make the forge uh, so what we're going to be doing uh, tomorrow here is actually going out and hunting because I need some more food as well and then we'll do some more gathering and we'll try to get uh, everything together and try to get a blender bluss made uh, because day five is when the dogs come uh, so I will see you guys tomorrow in uh, day four or there tomorrow actually yes in the day four video and uh, keep surviving stay classy and I want to thank you guys again for all your support thanks for your likes thanks for subscribing and I will see you in video or in stream. Peace. Talk it all, talk it all, talk it all, talk it all.